hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do like a little mini kind of like sephora haul with you guys i um bought some stuff it's not like a crazy bunch of stuff but it's some stuff so i wanted to show you guys before i put it all away because you know how i do i have to like i leave everything out to give me incentive to film so that way i can show you guys and then i'll put everything away because i don't like having things like on my beauty desk um so yeah let's jump on in um Let's go big to some, like small to big, because some stuff I'm really excited for, and others I'm not like as crazy about. So first thing, actually no, we're not gonna do that first. We're gonna do this first. I got the Sephora. Um, give me some new lip lip kit. The Sephora favorites. You know, guys, I use I get these kits all the time. Um, it's a great way to try like different brands and products that come out. And these are all new products. Like they've hardly launched yet. Um, like or they just launched. So, super exciting. I'm pretty thrilled. Um, not thrilled about the inside. I don't know why they keep putting stuff like this in there. Nobody likes it. It gets everywhere. It's really annoying. Oh, the sticker came off of the bottom of the Smashbox one and it's stuck. No, oh, no, no, no. We have to put that back on my lipstick. Spoiler alert. There's the Smashbox one. Um, so, fun packed. Two of these are full sizes. It retails for $28. So, like... Just getting the full sizes alone covers the parts of the box. So, like, you're getting other ones to try essentially for free. And I love the Sephora Favors kits like that. You guys know I've gotten this year's hauling one. I didn't put a video up of it. I There was something wrong with the footage, and I already put it all away, so I didn't know what exactly was in it. So I didn't get to film that for you. Um, I got the last year's big one, and I have, like, a bunch of the little ones. It's just a good way to try out some of the lipsticks before you, like, buy a whole bunch of colors. So yeah, this one has five of them in there. They usually run from five or to six of them. We have like one or two more online that you could get that aren't like as new as this one is. Um, so yeah, let's just swatch them. The first one is a Tristique, what are you? Mini Plumping Lip Balm in the shade Barbados Berry. It looks like this. This is not one of the full sizes, but look at how big that is. Like, what can I compare this to? Hmm, like a beauty blender, an un, un wet, not wet beauty blender. Like that's a huge. Look at how big that is. Um, I wonder how much is in it. It says it's a 0 0.21 ounce or six grams. I think that's a pretty good size. Let's swatch it. So not a crazy ton of color, but it smells good and it feels really good on my hands so I would imagine that it would feel really good on the mouth and it blends in nicely so it's not going to look like a gloss on your lips like you can rub it and it'll just look like a tint of color so that's really exciting I'm going to wipe that off so it doesn't inhibit the other shades um, the next thing that is in here is the Huda Beauty lip strobe in the shade snobby it's a metallic lip gloss it's a 2 milliliter or 0 0.07 fluid ounce looks like this let's swatch it for you guys so you can see like the glitter behind it it has like that pinky duo chromey it's like a pink with a yellowy flash almost um, it's really pretty though I'm kind of excited to try it out because I haven't I don't have any Huda glosses I have one Huda lipstick I mean I have the palettes but not the gloss so that's pretty cool um, it leaves kind of like a glitter behind though when you wipe it off so that's something to be aware of the last small product is the Fenty Mademoiselle. Mat. Mat, Mat, Mat I can say it like regular. Mademoiselle. Why can't I talk? Mademoiselle. But it's like Mademoiselle. Why can't I say it? Mademoiselle. Um, so this one is in the pink shade. I really love the terracotta one that they have that I, it's, oh, I want it so badly. This one is in the shade Candy Venom. It is a. Flush matte lipstick, it doesn't say the size on here, it's definitely not even close to full size, like that's it, twist it all the way out. But I mean, honestly, how often am I going to use this? Like, I'll use it, but not like crazy often where I'm going to go through it. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has like her, the FB Fenty Beauty on there, which in Rihanna's last name is actually Fenty. So, one swipe. Look at how pigmented and pretty. And it didn't even ruin the FB, so that's nice. Um, I really want to get the, the other shade though. There's like a lot of the shades are really pretty. So, hopefully I will be able to get some if I save up a little bit. They're like 18 a piece, which isn't bad for like a um, high-end lipstick. 
So the last two are the full size ones. We got the Smashbox, always on metallic matte in the shade XO Volada, I guess is the shade name. So it looks like this. I have one of their regular ones and I want the terracotta one. It's so pretty because you can see I have a trend of liking terracotta. But this is what this one looks like. It's kind of like not going down very pigmented. There's like a little hole in there and it's like sticking to that. But you kind of get the idea of the color though. Um, not quite sure I like the formula of this that much. Not crazy over it. But I like the regular matte ones, so that's what that looks like. And then lastly, what I was most excited about in this little set of the Fenty was this Marc Jacobs lipstick. It's a full size um, Lamarck liquid lip crayon, so it's designed to look like a liquid lip, but be in pencil form. <coughs> it's in the shade 310. That's funny because I made a list of like things I wanted to get today, and this was one of the ones that I wanted, like what the shade that I wanted. It keeps like coming out. Kind of annoying. It's a twist up though, so that's really nice. Let's see how much product is in there. It's a hefty amount. So that's full size. I'm gonna wheel it back down. That's a lot. It is two grams. Seems like a lot. And let me just swatch it for you guys. Look at how creamy. Oh, loving. There was like a bright red one that I wanted too. It's so pretty. But yeah, so that is all for that set. Really pretty. Um, the next thing that I got is something that I'm going to film a video on. It is the Subculture Palette because this has so much crap talked about it. And people need to realize that it's not an eyeshadow palette. It's a pressed pigment. Like, it's it's labeled as an eyeshadow palette. But the Anastasia, like, rep came in and talked to us about it and it's a pressed pigment so it's not meant to be used like you just rub your brush in there and rub it on your eyes like no it you need to treat it delicately because that's what it was designed to be treated as so let me just swatch some for you we'll do like the metallic shade um we'll do a matte shade we'll do another metallic shade and one more matte how about this one so I'm just watching Electric, Untamed, Adorn, and Rowdy. So look at how pigmented, look at how pretty. Um, I mean, I can't s speak to their blendability, but on my hand, like I just blended out like that last one, it's blending out fine. Like they're blending out wonderfully actually. So I don't know what the crap that was, like I just blended them all kind of together-ish. They blended nicely. So I don't know why people are talking so much crap about this. Um, but it seems to be pretty nice to me. And I feel like people are just hating and not using the product as it's meant to be used. Which is as like a pressed pigment. And granted, I guess um, they should have labeled that better on the packaging. But I'm sure if you looked on like Anastasia's website, it would tell you how to use it like how it's best used, or if you ask anyone in Sephora, they can tell you, hey, it's pressed pigment, treat it as so, treat it delicately. You can't just dig in your brush like you can with some cheaper palettes. Like, some are pressed so hard in there that you like can like scrape it all you want and you're gonna be fine. But this isn't meant to be like that. It's not designed, and I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this palette, honestly. Sorry. The last thing <coughs> that I got, <coughs> actually no. I want to talk about something. Why does Sephora keep sending me samples that I didn't order? Like, I ordered this one, which is fine. It's the Grande Lip Hydrating Lip Pumper because I wanted to try it. I have like the lash one, um, like extend your lashes, and I wanted to try the lip pumper one. But I didn't ask for this. I wouldn't have asked for this. It's a foundation with sunscreen by Guerlain. I would not have asked for this because I don't like stuff like this. Um, like, no, I wanted the Bum Bum Cream. And then they gave me the Atelier Fragrance and scent in Santal Carmen, which I definitely didn't ask for. Like, let me look and show you, like, tell you guys what I asked for and what they actually sent me. I asked for a Guerlain fragrance that I didn't get. I got a foundation instead. I did ask for that um, Grande Cosmetics the Hydrating Lip Bomber, and then I asked for the Sol de Janeiro Acai Bo um, Body Power Cream. 
because I know I like that I wanted to use it but did they send me that no anyways the last thing one of these I bought in store but I'm including it in my order because it goes with something else that I got um I'm just gonna show you guys this like together I guess oh, I got the Kat Von D everlasting lip liner set and the smaller set I, if you saw my 2017 favorites, you would know that these are some of my favorite lip liners ever. They are so pretty. It's the Everlasting Obsessions lip liner set. There's 15 full size lip liners in here. 15. That's amazing. Um, two of them are new shades, which is cool. They're the Saint and the Center shades, which is kind of nice because that goes with like her whole theme right now. Oh, Lord help. Um, but I'm really excited. They're long wearing, high pigmented, and they have a matte finish. Which, and they're awesome. They blend out nicely. So you're basically getting 13 of the regular shades and then two new ones. And then I got the other set of three that weren't included in there. Which I'm kind of bummed because they didn't have the one shade that I wanted, which is the orange one. It's okay. I'll be grateful, okay? Your girl is going to be grateful. Um, so, I'm going to swatch a couple of them on my hand. I already have two of them. I have Swanley and da -da 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 -da, OG Lolita. I got these in gratis and I fell in love with them. So I had to get the rest. Well... A bunch of the rest. Um, sorry, I can't stand having like so much crap on my desk. Ugh. Into the trash. So let's start with this three set. It's the um, it has Lolita, Hawk Hawkwind, and Homegirl. I'm assuming that these aren't new. It says compliments the new Everlasting Mini Lipstick Set. Oh, lipstick. I don't I don't have that one. I mean I have the older version, but not the new one for this year. But. It looks like this. It has three of them in there. Take them out. Toss the packaging. Um, so we have this shade, which is the Lolita. Ooh, super pretty. They're so freaking creamy. Then we have this one, which is Hawkwind. Online, these look a lot lighter than they are, but I saw them in store. Like, it was actually the last one in store, and they stopped selling it online. So I was like, oh, I need to get it really fast. And then lastly is the um, Homegirl, which is a darker shade. So that's super exciting. And I'm going to compare Lolita to the OG Lolita. And then there, we have Lolita 2 in the box set. So oh, um, this one is, Lol is OG Lolita. It's a lot lighter than the regular Lolita. And then let me just go ahead and swatch the other one I already have, Swanly, so you guys can see. Hard and Landon. It's just a cream color. I use that to lighten like the center of my lips. Um, so that's the first round. And then this one is the second one. It looks like an envelope. It has everlasting on the back side. I'm going to keep this packaging because it's so pretty. I just don't know because I, I can't display this right now. I'll probably display it someday. But like right now I can't like look at this. You open it up. It just kind of, they pop out. Like, look at that. That's so stinking cool. Like, I know my background's black and my shirt's black, so it's kind of hard to see. But it's so pretty. Um, I'm excited. So, it comes with 15 shades. I'm just going to go through the list and show you. First one is Blood Milk. Deep red shade. It's kind of like purpley. Um, then we have... Outlaw, I have this in the liquid lipstick, so I'm excited to have the lip liner to go with it. It's just a true reddish with like a pinky undertone kind of shade. Give it a focus. Yep. And then we have D minor. A nice nudie kind of shade right here. That will focus. Takes a minute to focus, huh? It's okay. Better than my old camera. And we have Lolita 2, which actually I'm going to go and I'm going to swatch it above Lolita and OG Lolita. So it has more of that terracotta undertone in comparison to OG Lolita and then Lolita, Lolita 2. Still really pretty though. Um, and then we have Saint, which is the newer one. It's just a really cute baby pink and I really actually, I really like that. I can see myself getting a lot of use out of that one right there. I haven't painted my nails in a while, you guys. I should probably do that. I have to wash brushes, too. Oh, I've got so much to do. Now we have Kevy. K-E-V-V-Y. Looks like this. 
Ooh, that's a quite a light nude color. We have, this is gonna be a long video. Sexer, I have this in the lipstick. My sister does too. Hot, hot pink, stunning color. Can't wait to wear it. These are so creamy. I'm so excited, honestly. Then we have X, which is just a true bright, like reddish pink. That's very pretty, actually. Very pretty. It's brighter than Outlaw. Um, and then we have LUV Love, which I'm pretty sure I have like the lipstick version of this. Pretty sure it's in here somewhere. I don't know right now, but yep. Let me swatch that. I'm going down, you guys. It's not good. It's a pretty purpley shade, though. Can you see it? You do? Can you see it? Oh no, I have the liquid lipstick in this shade. Yes, that's right. The liquid. Then Coven. I have the lipstick version of this. See, this works out nicely because I have a lot of these shades already. And like the other form, and then but I can use them with other ones as well. And then we have Sinner, the other new shade. I'm so excited to have these, you guys. I'm gonna have to move down below though. That one's not as like opaque, it's kind of streakier. Maybe she, because she just came out with it for this one set. I don't know. Four left! We have Satellite, which is a bright blue. There we have it. Then Ho, my sister's favorite lipstick shade. And this one is a like a deep bluey purple. It's a very unique shade. And... Lemmy, L-E-M-M-Y. Lemmy, Lemmy. It's a green. It's gonna look stunning with my Crocodile Tears by Jeffree Star. Though, probably should include them together. Because, you know, they don't get along. Pretty green, though. And then lastly is Scully, which is a true, true black like a great undertone black but you get the idea so that is that packaging is so pretty I live for the day that I can display it like this but I can't right now so they're gonna go in my cup and this is gonna go away so where I can just let it kind of hang out until I can display it one day when I have like a giant beauty room in all the area okay so yeah that's it you guys that is all of the um Stuff that I hauled from Sephora, so I got a whole bunch of lip liners, that lip set, the subculture palette. I'm pretty excited. Um, I will definitely have a video with the subculture palette coming soon. Hopefully in the next couple weeks or so. School starts back up soon, so I'll be busy again. Um, but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, because you know the deal. When I hit 100, Landon lets me do his makeup. I'm so excited. Um, maybe when I hit like 500, he'll pick my makeup and I'll do that. And then maybe like 1,000. He'll do my makeup. Ooh, we should do that. Alrighty, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video if you like stuff like this. And tell me what your favorite shade was because I'm really excited. Alright, thank you guys. Love you all. Bye.